Okay, it's 5.30, the Pike County Board of Education is not in session. Go ahead. I was thankful for the opportunity to serve the each and every student and teacher in Pike County, Alabama. We thank you for the protection from harm and injury that you continue to provide us all. While we were going to our meeting, we'd ask you that we would lead God and direct us, that we make decisions based on for others. All these things we pray in thy name. Amen. 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 Item number three, accept the minutes of November 13, 2023. Then we start with that by recommendation. You heard the recommendation with their motion. Okay, Mr. Price, Dr. Price, excuse me. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Reverend Green. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Item number four, hearing of delegation and communications. At this time, if there's anything that needs to be said from the audience, you may speak at this time. Hearing none, Dr. Zell. Hey, um, uh, first, uh, uh, first communications. We've got uh, Representative Paramore here tonight to make a little presentation. So, come forward. If you'll come forward as well, Dr. Zell, um, as, as many of y'all know, uh, the state legislature has a fund that called community service grants and I know you receive money over the, the years for this for the schools and what we like to do is provide one check for all the schools in the district all your units plus the uh, Pike County Tech Center but tonight and I want to present to you a check for $70,000 oh, That's an equal amount for each unit plus the, a little extra. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, next year I know it won't be that big no, because sure. the fund that we pull from is not going to be that big. But it is a good year this year, and we wanted to make sure uh, the school systems were taken care of. So thank you. Thank you for what you do, board. Appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. A couple of other items real quick. Um, uh, one, if you did not attend the, uh, didn't, didn't anybody attend the dance uh, program with uh, Patty Rutland School of Dance? If you didn't, you missed it. So please make sure that next year you put it in your calendar to attend. You know, uh, Patty Rutland's uh, uh, or, uh, has been providing dance instruction, which is something new for us for the last two years. And it was a great production at, at, on campus at the university. And, and uh, I'm not sure how many total participants, 50 plus, but uh, at least half of those were Pike County students. Which is a, which is really really good for our kids. So many of our kids don't get to participate in dance programs, and we started providing that for our kids two years ago. It was a great thing. So uh, we appreciate uh, our principals and our kids for participating. And again, they were they were the participants were from all schools. Uh, you know, we started last year in, at Pike County Elementary, but this year included everybody. Uh, you got in your packet, board members, your. Uh, Sales tax information uh, that we provide you every month. Uh, I'll let you know that the uh, state will be uh, releasing the uh, state and the federal report cards, I believe, Thursday. We've already got a preliminary look at them, and, uh, but that information is embargoed until Thursday. Um, Band concert tomorrow night, Pike County High. I'm not sure about the Goshen Christmas concert, but Pike County High concert is tomorrow night at, at 6 o'clock. And let me see if there's anything else. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's everything. Okay. Item number five, adoption of agenda. Dr. Zell. Uh, I recommend it to be approved. I will call your attention. Uh, there will be an additional item under. 980. Uh, <coughs> you write that on all of them? No, it's right on yours. Okay, 
there, there will be a 9A. We didn't get that included, and that will be a, uh, to approve uh, for Major Lane to be interim assistant principal at Gushin High School beginning January 22nd, uh, substitute assistant principal like, she, like he's been doing at Pike County High. Uh, uh, Miss Lane will be out for several weeks due to a medical situation. So, I'd like for you will to include that under nine A. Other than that, I recommend it as is. Okay. You've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Moved. Okay, Mr. Hartley. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Mr. Lott. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed have the same right. Mm -hmm. Motion passed. Item number six is completed. Item number seven, new business. Seven eight. Approve the financial statements for November 2023. Dr. Zell. Recommended. You've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Price. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Mr. Lott. Any questions? Comments or concerns? If you're none, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion passes. <coughs> 7B, examiners of public accounts audit release presentation. Okay. Hi. Um, in court, I'm Jana White with the State Examiner. In accordance with the provisions of Act Number 2006-196, Act of Alabama, Code of Alabama 1975, Section 1613A, 73B, commonly referred to as the School Fiscal Accountability Act, I am here on behalf of the State of Alabama Department of Examiners and Public Accounts to present our audit report on the Pike County Board of Education covering the period October 1, 2021 through September 30, 2022. We conducted our audit in accordance with generally accepted auditing standards and government auditing standards for the purpose of rendering an opinion on the financial statements and to determine whether the board complied with applicable laws and regulations. We also conducted an audit of the board's federal financial assistance program in accordance with those same standards and the requirements of Title II, U.S. Code of Federal Regulations, Part 200, Uniform Administrative Requirements, Cost Principles, and Audit Requirements for Federal Awards, also known as Uniform Guidance. We issued an unmodified opinion on the board's financial statements as of and for the fiscal year ended September 30, 2022. This means that the financial statements are presented fairly in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. In addition, we issued an unmodified opinion on the board's major federal financial assistance programs, which for the fiscal year were the Special Education Cluster, Emergency Connectivity Fund Program, and the Education Stabilization Fund. The local school selected for comprehensive testing was Goshen High School. All other schools were subject to limited testing. We reported no findings in our report. The entire report is available on our website, examiners.alabama.gov, under the Search Audit Reports tab. This concludes my presentation. I would like to thank you and your central office staff for your assistance and cooperation during the audit process. We look forward to working with you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any questions? It's always good to have an unmodified report. That's always a good thing. And uh, appreciate the, the work of our bookkeepers and, and Brandy and everybody for uh, uh, being diligent in everything that they do. Uh, I do want to mention, I think, I think I've already mentioned this once, but the, uh, uh, this year the, uh, that process will be outsourced. Okay. And uh, Brandy, what, what is the name of the firm? Jackson you? Thornton. Jackson Thornton and Montgomery will be conducting our audit on behalf of the examiner. Okay, item 7C, approved Pike County Schools 2024 2025 calendar. Dr. Zell. Recommended to be approved. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay, Mr. Hartman, is there a second? Okay, Reverend Green. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Let, let me mention that the fall break and spring break is congruent with the, uh, the Troy University, and uh, I think we've got that. Uh, confirmed with them that's the dates that uh, right now that's their dates. Uh, the only thing that would possibly cause us to make an adjustment would be a, a change with the university. And uh, as you know, several years ago we tried to align with them because we got 
you know, we've got so many kids dual enrolled over there, it just makes sense for us to line up with them. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion passes. Item 7D, approve request to replace two copiers at the central office. Uh, the copiers would be purchased through the lease buyout. Dr. Bell. I recommend it. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay. Mr. Wilkes. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Mr. Hartman. Any questions, comments, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposers have the same right. Motion passes. Okay. 7E, approve request for the following Wilshire High School staff members to travel to and attend the 2024 Bar Conference that's April 23rd through the 25th, 2024 in Palm Springs, California. Finished up the Shell House, uh, Marjorie Lane, Brandy DeSandro, Latoya Gay, Christian Kelly, and one additional staff member. Funding will be through Chance Dr. Zell. I recommend it. You've heard the recommendation, is there a motion? I move. Okay. Mr. Locke? Second? Second. Okay. Mr. Wilkes? Questions, comments, or concerns? I just want to mention again the funding on this is grant funding. It's not public funding. Okay. There's a chance. Okay. Hearing no, okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposers have the same right. Motion passes. Approve request for Dr. Donella Carter to travel to and attend the 2024 Superintendent's Academy, December 11th through the 12th, 2023 in Tuscaloosa. Funding will be through general funds. Dr. Bell. Recommend. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? No. Mm -hmm. Reverend Green. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Dr. Price. Mm -hmm. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposes nay. Motion passes. 7G, approve request for the stipends for the bar coordinators at Goshen High School and Banks to be sent, <coughs> oh, excuse me, to be set at $1,600 for each of the coordinators. Funding will be through the Chance Clinic. You've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Motion. Okay. Mr. Hartman? Is, is there a second? Second. Okay. Mrs. Watt, any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposes nay. Motion passes. 7-H, approve uh, development of the 3 plus 1 bachelor degree program for Pike County students in partnership with uh, Troy University. Dr. Zell. I recommend it. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dr. Price, is there a second? Second. Okay. Mr. Wilkes, any questions, comments, <laughs> concerns? Uh, other than say we're excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a real great opportunity for our kids. Absolutely. Good. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed, nay. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, seven I approved development of the music industry and a music uh, performance associates degree academy in partnership with Troy University. Dr. Zay, I recommend. You've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay. Mr. Lodge. Second. Okay. Okay. Mr. Harper. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposes nay. Motion passes. Okay. 7J, approval denied the student transfer forms per the attached spreadsheet. Dr. Zell. I recommend they be approved or denied uh, per the spreadsheet. Okay, you heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay, Dr. Price, is there a second? Okay, that was great. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposes nay. Motion passes. 8A. Uh, this is personnel. Approved maternity leave for Rachel Greer, first grade teacher at Pike County Elementary School. Dr. Zell. I recommend. You've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Hartley. Second. Mm -hmm. Mr. Green. Questions, comments, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposes nay. Motion carries. 7, excuse me, 8B, accept the resignation of Kelly Falk, Stead A, Pike County Elementary School. Dr. Zell. Recommended. You've heard the recommendation.
presentation. Is there a motion? Okay, Dr. Friday. Second? Second. Okay, Mr. Lodge. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed is nay. Motion carries. Eight C. Except request to employ Angela uh, Harris, CMP work at Goshen Elementary School, effective January 3rd, 2024. Dr. Zell. I recommend, I recommend it. You've heard a recommendation. Is there a motion? No. Okay. Mr. Lodge. Second. Second. Okay. Mr. Hartley. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed is nay. Motion carries. 8D. Approved superintendent's recommendation concerning a certified employee number one. Dr. Zell. Recommended. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? I move. Okay, Dr. Green. Is that second? Second. Okay, Dr. Price. Questions, comments, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposers have the same right. Motion carries. 8E. Approved superintendent's recommendation concerning a certified employee. This is number two. Dr. Zeller. Recommended. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? No. Okay, Mr. Harley. Is there a second? Second. And Mr. Lodge. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposers have the same right. Motion carries. 8L. Approved superintendent's recommendation concerning a certified employee. Employee number three. Dr. Zell. I recommend it. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay, Dr. Price. Is there a second? Second. Reverend Green. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposers have the same right. Motion carries. 8G. Approved superintendent recommendation concerning a classified employee. Dr. Zell. I recommend it. You heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay, Mr. Wills, is there a second? Second. Reverend Green, any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed to have the same right. Motion carries. Okay, 9A. This is to. This is to. Yeah, this. Okay. 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 Let me read it. Uh, it's approved request for major, uh, major Lane uh, to be the interim assistant principal uh, at Goshen High School starting January 22nd until the return of Marjorie Lane, the assistant principal. She's out on medical. Okay. Okay, you've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion? Okay. Okay. Mr. Lott. Second. Second. Okay. Mr. Wilkes. Okay, any questions, comments, or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposers have the same right. Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Okay. We do need a short executive session to discuss a pending legal matter. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, so I move. Okay. Pass. Thank you. 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 Thank you.